Now we're gonna discuss the process at each stage and how heat is transferred from one medium to the next. The first stage of heat transfer takes place right here at the customer cabinet. These cabinets house devices such as switches, servers, and storage devices. When in use, they generate a tremendous amount of heat. The cold air coming up through the perk tiles passes over those components, cooling those components, and then that air is then exhausted into the hot aisle. Once that hot air is exhausted into the hot aisle, it rises up into the above ceiling plenum where it returns to the crate for further cooling. Let's go take a look. Second stage of heat transfer happens right here at the crate. The crate takes suction from the hot air plenum. That hot air passes over the coils containing chilled water, transferring heat from the air to the chilled water. That chilled water is then pumped back to our chillers where the third stage of heat transfer takes place. The next two stages of heat transfer take place right here at the chiller. That warm chilled water returning from the crate units is cooled by refrigerant right here in this tube. The next stage of heat transfer happens right here in the condenser where heat is transferred from the refrigerant to condenser water. We're finally at the last stage of heat transfer where heat is transferred from the condenser water to outside air through a process well known as evaporation. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new about data centers today. Follow us on YouTube or visit coresite.com for more information.